He's a leader like no other. Commander of a formidable military. President of a rising superpower. This series tells the story of Chinese President Xi Jinping's six-year rule. He heads an economy that is now crucial to all of us. Hundreds of millions of people have been lifted out of poverty. China was clearly going to be the great source of growth in the global economy, and we want a part of that. For years, world leaders have sought to work with him to solve some of the most pressing issues of our time. When we work together, it's good for the United States, it's good for China, and it is good for the world. But in the West, there's growing anxiety about how President Xi's China is extending its power. Now, media reports have suggested that the Chinese Communist Party has been working covertly to interfere with the decisions of elected representatives. So I think Australia is, in many ways, the canary in the coal mine. We are exposing the faces and names behind the keyboards in Shanghai used to steal from American businesses. Inside China, his communist government has become increasingly intolerant of criticism and dissent. Evidence is now emerging of monstrous crimes against humanity. It's a message to the people. We have power to finish you. We have power. And in Hong Kong, he's now facing the biggest ever challenge to his authority. We don't want Hong Kong to become China. We want our freedom. Xi Jinping has transformed his country. He could be president for the rest of his life. So what does that mean for China and the rest of the world? Xi Jinping has taken China down a much more assertive route, and that, of course, is making the rest of the world wonder what's in store. If we don't speak out, if we don't uh, condemn China for that kind of, uh, of behavior, nobody else will.